about your forearm. Now you've had a, a little bit of practice. How, obviously, it's come along fairly well. Still fine. Still, yeah. still feels thing. good. Have you, a mental, mental thing as well as a, obviously it's a physical thing. Uh, it, it's definitely a mental aspect of it. You know, you you go through a lot when you're coming back from a broken arm. And, um, you just had surgery less than two weeks ago, and it's a it's a pain threshold that you you have to deal with. And I'm, I've been dealing with it. I mean, it's, 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 it, when it comes down to you know being able to play versus not being able to play and it, and it being a pain tolerance thing, I'm going to be there every time. If it were the regular season, how many games do you think you would you would sit out to rest it? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I don't really know what the timetable would be for an injury like this because I didn't even ask. I didn't want to know. You know, It was just all about knowing that I had two weeks to get ready for this game. So that was the whole mindset of making sure that I was ready to go in two weeks. So much of your career has been talking about coming back from injury and overcoming the odds. Does it seem a little ironic that this is part of your Super Bowl experience now? Hey, it's just going to only make the story that much better when, when it's all said and done. You know? um, it's, it's, it's kind of weird when, when things happen, but it's all about making sure that you're able to come back from it. You don't question it anymore. You just, you just roll with the punches. Jack Youngblood, right? Yeah. Broken Did that leg. inspire? Did that inspire you? You told me you watched that. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, when you when you look at it, you think about a guy that was able to go out and play a football game with a broken leg. I mean, that's that's way different than playing with a broken arm. I feel like it's way harder. Mentally, how did you pick yourself up after after you know breaking your arm? Uh, it, it was a it was a struggle when I initially received the news, but when they told me that we could do surgery on it and you can come back, the emotion it changed um, instantly. It was okay, bam! Now I got to center all my attention, all my focus on making sure that I'm rehabbing and I'm ready to go. How much were you actually able to do in practice? How, how did you test it out? Full practice. Full practice. Everything that everybody else has been doing the last couple of days, I've been doing. Early in the season, uh, when Luke had a concussion and missed a couple of games, I, you know, I'm a reporter, so I have sources. So I have a source that tells me that there was a friendly competition between you and Luke about who would finish with more tackles. You don't need no source. We always have a competition about that. <laughs> um, we always talk about it, and it's not just you know um, a seasonal thing. It's it's a week to week thing, and mm -hmm. we compete. In everything that we do, we compete to try to see if we can get the most, most interceptions, mm -hmm. the most sacks. Everything that we do on the football field is a competition. Mm -hmm. And we feel like if we're competing against each other, that's going to make our defense better. It's mm -hmm. going to make our team better. And, you know, it's ultimately going to make us better yeah. as players because, you know, we're, I mean, look at Luke Keekley and what he's been able to accomplish mm -hmm. in this league. Um, he's obviously the best middle linebacker playing this game right now, mm -hmm. um, arguably. But at the same time, for me, it's just all about me going out and trying to be the best player that I can be and making sure that I'm pushing him to be the best mm -hmm. that he can be. Um, and we're doing that for each other week in and week out. And do you think, I mean, because he was out for a couple of games, you would have had that head start and you were kind of. I mean, oh, I had a good head start. Yeah, but he okay. walked it down. He came back. Yeah. So. Do, you, do you think that motivated him? I mean, it, it was, uh, I know it was a friendly kind of thing. I know thing. for a fact that it motivated okay. him because, <laughs> you know, we talk about it and I talk probably more, more trash than anybody yeah. um, about our competition and you know when I'm constantly talking to him talking yeah. to him about it um, he just steps up to the challenge yeah. he goes out and perform um, week in and week out and he, he did a great job check is just, going, just going just back, back to, to that, that camaraderie you guys have how is that different from, from other teams you played on over the years you know it's, it, it's different in a sense because I think I feel like to a man on this football team it's, it's all about the team it's all about the team. No, nobody's going out trying to step out and you know make it bigger than than what it is, or make it make it bigger than the team. Uh, um, and that's one of the real reasons why we've been good. And, it's, and I can speak for us defensively for sure. Um, if you look week in and week out, we have a different guy that's stepping up and, and sort of um, coming to the front and making the plays for the team. And we're not sitting back and you know we're not sitting back and waiting on Luke to make the play or. They're not waiting on me to make the play, or KK, or Josh. We have a guy that steps up every week. Even when you look at when Luke Keekley went down and AJ Klein came in, played tremendous football for us. When I went down in the NFC Championship game, Shaq Thompson comes in and he plays his butt off, man. I think that really speaks to what kind of football team we are. Going back to Josh, are you surprised at all the guy you saw a couple of years ago is the guy he is now? Nope. The guy that I saw a couple of years ago is exactly who we're seeing right now. 
with a lot more confidence. He had the opportunity when he first came into the league to compete and, and work his butt off and go against Steve Smith on a um, day in and day out basis, and it, that made him a better football player because whenever you're going against one of the best to ever play the position, it's going to make you better.